like other ablations, atrial fibrillation ablation with PFA is performed in the electrophysiology laboratory, which is a special place in the hospital where we have specialized equipment such as a fluoroscopy system or the x-ray system, as well as intracardiac echocardiography, mapping systems, recording systems, and other important tools so that we can safely perform this procedure. The EP lab also has specialized staff with EP trained nurses, technicians, as well as the anesthesiologist staff that allow us to safely conduct these procedures. How is PFA atrial fibrillation ablation performed? Just like other procedures, you would go to the electrophysiology lab. At that point, we would start sedation. Under ultrasound guidance, we can obtain venous access into the left and right growing so that catheters are inserted into the heart. Under ultrasound guidance, we then obtain what's called transeptal access, where we can put catheters in the left atrium, where the ablation will be performed. And with the catheters available for PFA today, we use what's called a single shot modality where the catheters can position completely around the pulmonary vein so that with a single lesion, which is eight bursts of applications, we can isolate the pulmonary veins. So this is a simpler way to perform ablation of atrial fibrillation that is being shown to be much more efficient and also with improved safety profile. Once the ablation is performed and completed, patients will spend typically four to six hours in the recovery area, and most of our patients are able to go home today. One of the potential key advantages that remains to be proven in clinical studies for this procedure is perform the f- uh, perhaps the fact that we can do this without using general anesthesia. So for a lot of patients, we will be able to perform this procedure today under deep or conscious sedation because the procedure is so fast that the patient being completely immobilized during the procedure may no longer be required. And that offers a significant advantage for patients, particularly elderly individuals.